Hello friend, this is Steve. This uh, short video will help orient you to your teaching responsibilities as the Highland Park attending. Hopefully this website looks familiar to you. It's our teaching website. Um, if you ever need to access this video again, you can just go to orientation tools and then click on Highland Park. The uh, video lives here. Uh, there's also a link to the floor handout, which is just a quick summary of some of the highlights about the rotation. And then there's also uh, a link to some teaching articles and videos uh, here. Your Highland Park teaching team is composed of one teaching attending and one Rosalind Franklin PA student. Here is a sample schedule for the day. Uh, at 10 a.m. you will receive sign up from the outgoing pediatric hospitalist. At 11 a.m., the PA student will arrive and will text you or come find you in the office. They can use the sleep room down the hall to store their things for the day. At 11 a.m., we usually review the census with them, then they can see any new consults. Uh, you can also give them a article to read about for a teaching topic and have them eat lunch. You can also review the teaching topic with them on the, when they're done reading the article. At around 3 p.m., uh, we can do afternoon newborn rounds. Uh, as the PA student gains experience, they can do this independently and give discharge teaching to families and also make sure that they've made their follow-up appointments. Afterwards, um, they can report back to you. You can give them feedback for their work for the day. Uh, they can stick around and attend deliveries uh, if there are any. And then around 7 p.m., uh, typically we'll send them home. On their first day, make sure the EPIC list has been shared with them. Uh, if I forgot to do this, uh, you can share it with them or you can text me and I will uh, set them up. Uh, also, please give them a tour, show them where psych psychiatry is, the labor and delivery floor, and also where the cafeteria is. For teaching on their first day, please give them the green NRP book on the bookshelf and have them read lesson three, and then review with them the steps of initial resuscitation. Also have them mark the calendar posted in the workroom with the days they'll be absent. They'll continue to update this throughout the rotation. With regard to teaching, I think it's helpful to think of yourself as a coach who's trying to help a learner get better. Don't focus on perfection. Instead, take each learner as an individual and see what are they good at and where could they improve. Then give them specific things each day to work on so you can see improvement during the time that you're together. Feedback is your key to seeing improvement. Ask the learner each day, what are the things that they would like to work on and receive feedback on? Then try to give them feedback after each patient interaction on these things. At the end of the student's rotation, I will email you asking for feedback. Uh, I need to fill out an evaluation for each student. So if you can provide me with any feedback on any of these categories, it's greatly appreciated. If you need some teaching resources, you can explore the articles section. There are many articles of common pediatric conditions, as well as teaching videos that can be used to teach the team as well. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to text me, email me, call me, whatever. I uh, hope you laugh a lot, teach a lot, and have a great time.